To deal with workplace discrimination more broadly, we have TAFEP. It's an acronym, Tripartite Alliance for Fair and Progressive Employment Practices, TAFEP. TAFEP has laid out clear guidelines on fair treatment. Most companies comply. If a company falls short, TAFEP will counsel it. And if it still fails to get its act together, MOM can impose administrative penalties, including restricting the company from hiring foreign workers. And this has generally worked quite well. But over the years, the government has received repeated requests to toughen up TAFEP. In particular, the Labour movement and NTUC MPs have pushed for anti-discrimination laws that carry penalties. The government has held back because we didn't want the process to become legalistic or confrontational. It's better if disputes can be resolved amicably through persuasion or mediation. But after consulting the tripartite partners, we have decided to adopt the Labour MP's suggestions. We will enshrine the TAFEP guidelines in law. This will give them more teeth and also expand the range of actions we can take. We will model our approach on how we deal with another class of disputes, those over salaries or wrongful dismissal. In such disputes, conciliation and mediation have to be tried first. And only when those fail does the matter go before an employment claims tribunal, which will arbitrate and decide the case. We will create a similar tribunal to deal with workplace discrimination. And this will protect workers against discrimination based on nationality, whether you're Singaporean or not, or between different non-Singaporean nationalities. It will also prohibit other kinds of discrimination covered by TAFEP. Women will get better protection. And discrimination based on age, race, religion, and disability will also be disallowed. Philosophically, Writing TAFEP guidelines into the law is a major move. It signals that we do not tolerate discrimination at workplaces. But in practice, we hope to operate in a similar way as today, except better. We should still resolve workplace disputes informally and amicably, if at all possible. The legal redress should be a last recourse. One which is seldom needed, but because it is there and you can go there, the parties will be caused to work harder to settle the dispute through conciliation and mediation.